Hi everyone, um, I'm taking over the vlog today because we are actually going, we're actually going to uh, the Brussels car show, which is basically just like a car show, but the Brussels. It's called motor show. Officially. Motor show. Okay, yes. it's uh, bikes, motorbikes, and cars, a bit of tuning and like. And supercars. Yeah, and a supercar hall. So I will be your host today and kind of just talk. Uh, <laughs> A bit about the cars and stuff, so it's gonna be much makeup stuff today. Well, nothing of makeup, <laughs> unless you want to see my makeup today. <laughs> yeah, but it's quite cold, so we're kind of hurrying inside. So, see you guys. So, boys and girls, this is the S1000RR, and well, just look at it. I think it's freaking gorgeous. It's the only bike that I'm kind of willing, would be willing to trade my bike for, I think. Ish, one of the only ones. But yeah, the price is a bit, mm, and a bit too much horsepower as well. It's a really nice bike, really fast. Has actually tail lights in the blinkers. Watching a KTM, we see this bad boy, not too bad, but I think this is actually a possible bike, for example, we'll see. Yep, she's not very happy. Even though it's not that bad though. Let's look further. This is, uh, well, I have, I have the road version of this one, kinda. Looks sick. This one has more sponsors than yours. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford them all. No. So, we actually found a strong competitor. It seems like she wants to become my teammate, <laughs> doesn't she? Yeah. Looks very good. Nice and low. So we found option number two. This is actually a 650. Is it quicker? And I actually kind of prefer it in white pretty much. Downsides compared to Honda, it's a bit more expensive, but that's about where the downsides end. Digital fully. M mine actually isn't <laughs> at all. Well, I kind of. Yeah, I like mine. Yeah. Pointy arrow things. I like this one because it's like. But the guy was uh, holding it down. Yeah. Like three centimeters or two, four? Two. Two, sorry. Two. And I could almost put my whole foot down, which is so far amazing. Which, which, which is, yeah. That's the most we achieved so far. But yeah, we're obviously not. It actually looks. Down. Sorry, it looks really sick actually with the seat on, like the mono seat. Yeah, it does, right? Like, like kind of really good. Like the only downside, you can see it there. I think the brake light. The brake light is a bit meh. I don't like that it sticks out this thing so much. Yeah, but you can get like thing, different ones. Thing, yeah, but I mean aftermarket. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. We found it. Perfect. Okay, so it seems that Alice is everywhere we go, literally everywhere, because we are now at. The, um, I'm recording you, by the way. <laughs> I'm on the auto, we are at the auto salon, not salon, auto motor show, and that's what we got. Happy? Oh, he can't see you. He's happy. He's just eating. <laughs> okay, so we're done at Alice. That's kind of how it looks. It's funny because you like take a tray and go through the line. What am I showing? Oh yeah, the... what is it? Four wheels? Four wheels bike thing. But you can see how it looks kind of from behind. Well, from... sorry, from the uh, top. But here are... Um, bikes with four wheels. So this one is four wheels. This one is three wheels. But you can see here... well, now you can't anymore. How they move. So yeah. It's 
kind of cool. Do you like it? Yeah, okay. So now we're going to hole number three. Because well, I don't know what's there, but we're going there. <laughs> So where do I find the GTR to sit in? What? Where do I find the GTR to sit in? Well, let's see if it's here. Found the GTR. So here we got it. The one, the one with most people around it. <laughs> Here we have uh, Stoffel van Dorn's Formula E car of Mercedes. Yeah, it actually is his. It has the Belgian yeah. flag and his name on it. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's really big. Mm, this is pretty cool at Subaru. You can see your suspension nicely here. The engine, very shiny, very shiny. And you have your hybrid system here. I think that's your, probably your battery at the back. And your wiring that goes forwards. Very interesting actually. The quest continues. We are now at Opel, which have an interesting display of their motorsport cars, like historic one and uh, modern one. Very cool. So, honestly, I could probably walk through this whole freaking room and continuously talk. <laughs> talk. Um, so, I'm gonna try to get the highlights a bit. This is a Ford GT, which is, well, obviously a freaking respectable supercar. I think it looks freaking epic, personally. Um, yeah, uh, let's move on to what Alexandra wants. <laughs> a GTR Nismo. Yes, I like this one. Here, you can see what you want, babes. <laughs> Top so speed of 315. How, let's see how badly I can't afford it. <laughs> it's more expensive than I thought even. Yeah. But it's a, a, it's a very capable car though. And so. it looks nice. <laughs> For sure. And? and we are now amongst the big return of Alpina. Oh, Alpine, sorry. <laughs> Alpine? Yeah, this is a, a sports division. I think it's from Renault actually. Pretty sure. Uh, it's like a separate brand now, I think. Hm, I might be derping right now, but uh, <laughs> it's basically French. French kind of—they're not really supercars, but they're capable cars. Let's say it's kind of cool. The brand has been gone for a very long time. I think. Is it a fuel intake at the front? Yes, I think so. That's funny. Oh, that's interesting. And we are going from one returner to another returner. It's a Supra. And this one is... Yeah, it does, actually. Mainly the rear, actually. I think we all know the Supra from uh, Fast and Furious and stuff like this. That's cool. It is pretty good. It's uh, built together with BMW because there's a BMW engine in it. Um, and with BMW, it's basically the, is it the M4? No, the Z4? Whatever, the convertible thing. I think that might be actually the reverse light. Yeah, I was thinking, is that the reverse light? But if I would buy that car, I would change it to a red light. And I would just mount a little reverse light somewhere. Okay, so it looks cooler. 
Yeah, like really racy. Okay. Okay, so we're starting to work up to the creme de la creme. In the background you see Poch has a Lamborghini. Maybe you say who it is because I didn't know. He's a, he's a YouTuber, like a supercar Belgium. owner. Yeah, Belgium. Yeah. He speaks French too. Oh yeah, okay, but French like people from Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. But I don't know what I'm done. Yeah. And this is a E-Type, as you might have guessed already. Very British. So British. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. It's from Auto World, another exposition in Belgium. And now we're going to the Creme de la Creme. This thing. This thing is. Well, does it really need an introduction? It's a CLK GTR. I think 25 were made worldwide. I'm sorry, how many? 25, I think. Okay. Um, it was basically in 97 or something, 96, 97. Uh, there was the Le Mans class. And for your car to be able to attend to it, you had to build minimum 25 road cars. So these are basically race cars converted for the road. Okay. It is breathtaking. Fun fact, Mark Weber, you, you know, uh, you know Mark Weber, right? The yeah, F1 pilot? Yeah, yeah. He, he has a young driver um, on the long straight, flew in the air with it twice in one weekend. In this thing? In this thing. Okay. Uh, because it's had, it was aerodynamically, I guess, unstable or something. On the long straight at high speed, the, um, the hill, at the top of the hill, there would be a bit too much air coming underneath, I guess. It would like flip it or what? Yeah, it would just fly up. Uh, and the first time they were like, kind of, okay, freak accident, whatever, weird. And then the second time? But then the second time they had to retire all the cars out of the Did they then change the car a bit? Uh, I don't know, uh, I don't think it drove next year, to be honest. Oh, okay. And there you have the Chiron with his flickering lights on camera. Look at the LEDs. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, save the camera. I yeah. the camera, of course. Um, well, obviously an impressive machine. I, I don't find it particularly beautiful, not ugly either. I like the combination of colors. Well, really be like because them. this is a special version, I think. It's not a normal one. I'm not sure. But, yeah. It has like, what, 1500 horsepower? It has the highest top speed in, of any production car. I mean, it's Volkswagen, their parade horse, kind of. Look at the brakes though, holy cannoli. Mm -hmm. those, r those brake discs must be so heavy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> Everything about this car is extreme. It's like a W... In the back? I want to the back. Okay. It has like four turbos. A W16 engine, just like its predecessor, the Playroom. It's just everything. Uh, I like the back more than the front. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not a huge fan of the back actually, but, but it, it, of the light choose, at least. I like the back. Really? <laughs> yeah. Don't know yeah. Now you have the, the big freaking. Basically, it's, it's kind of two engines in one okay. W16 because it's 16 cylinders. Oh, yeah, that's actually, yeah, left it's like, and yeah, It's like two V's. Yeah. V blocks okay. you have. Kind of. So, we're at the last car that I'm going to show you guys of the supercars. It's an Aquilon. It's some kind of French supercar. Very impressive. Very light as well. I mean, yeah, it looks really good actually. Uh, very expensive, 1.7 million. Got like a V10 by turbo. It's, uh, it's quite the beast. Very low bodywork as well. Very low to the ground. Turn, turns out I'm wrong. I am going to still show you a car ish here. This is a car slash helicopter. Ideal for when you work in a crowded city or whatever. 
avoid the traffic jams. So we're at the Toyota stand where we have Toyota Corolla GR. I was actually not aware that this exists. And a super. So some nice cars. Hey everyone, uh, we're back now from uh, the car show. Uh, we I don't know if the vlog will actually turn out any good. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anything is wrong, it's his fault. I literally have not held the phone to record anything, I think. So, yes, it's a big, anything that's wrong, blame him, it's a big not me. I'm just, I'm just gonna <laughs> put this thing together, okay? <laughs> no, but yeah, it I'm was... just gonna blame the edit. <laughs> Thank you. No, but uh, it was really good. Uh, busy, loads of walking. But successful because we managed to, what, like we have like three bikes? Four. Three or four bikes because two. Which was the fourth? Oh, no, I have two pictures of uh, bikes from Honda and then two in Kawasaki. Honda? Yeah, I don't know, I can show you later. <laughs> but basically, we're, if it comes to brands, we are thinking either Honda or Kawasaki. Although, uh, even though like the... The ones I sat on, it said they had the same height of the like the seat. Uh, it felt better on the Kawasaki, maybe because the the Kawasaki is like thinner, so maybe just I don't know means that it's easier for me to sit on it. I don't know. That's that's what I'm trying to explain. That's how I'm trying to explain it to myself. But yeah, decisions need to be made this year whether I'm going for a full license or what's an A2 license. Mm -hmm. Then you can. <coughs> ride with what up to, up to what 35 kilowatt so like that 400 400 I could, yeah it depends that 500 also was a2 i think uh i don't remember but yeah so basically this is a nice start to kind of see what i like and like you know, first experience to sit on a bike properly yeah because yeah. yours i i know i sat on it once but yours is too high for me and i barely could reach the floor so yeah <laughs> but yeah so yeah, we also of cars, we looked at some cars, uh, we, mainly you, you liked the uh, Toyota Corolla, how it looked from the outside when we would see it on the streets, but we sat inside of it and it's very underwhelming. Like, yeah, it's disappointing a bit. It's, the interior is not that nice, it feels kind of cheaply made, I don't know, it's just, yeah. I was like, oh, like, like okay. The uh, there's no doubt that the quality and stuff of what's under the hood and yeah. is really good, but but inside it felt a bit, it could be nicer. Uh, so, but like you said, maybe in a few years they're gonna make it better. For now, we're not looking yeah. for a car whatsoever. No, we were just kind of curious to see how it looks inside. So yeah, uh, yeah, it kind of made us realize how nice our car is actually. <laughs> yeah, it, it did, right? Like we sat there, like oh, you yeah, know, like. So much better what we have right now, like I don't know. No, what we have now is better. Yeah, yeah. Would I say it wrong? I think so. Oh, I'm so tired. Sorry, like my sentences make no sense. Yeah, we yeah. prefer what we have now. Like what over could most be, cars. Yeah, what could be better is like what was it? We like the Lexus. Lexus IS three hundred, but the, that that is also like quite way a bit. Over our budget. Yeah, quite like, a bit. I would need to find a really good paying job. <laughs> and a few years of saving. <laughs> yeah, and a few years of saving. And there was there was an Audi something. Taurus four, yeah, okay. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, but that's also yet again. Okay. That's even more. <laughs> yeah, but like the Lexus is like the one that's like okay from what we liked, more reasonable, but still it's so expensive. So yeah, we're definitely gonna get the most out of. This, this car, yeah, right? yeah, I like uh, yeah, uh, mainly I like the lower back support, it's fantastic. Yeah, we actually uh, we realized how important lower back support is. We get old, <laughs> no, but it's really important actually. Like some cars, like the Corolla, it wasn't nice, right? no, at all. Um, well, like in general, Toyotas, yeah, really good technology. They're really reliable, they keep going. Yeah, but like the only thing you could kind of change was how high your seat goes, like up and like the position yeah. of the the and back. It, it doesn't even all has to be electronic for me. I'm fine with mechanical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it just as long it as it's there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it has to we have to be able to move it and adjust it. But yeah, I think it was a nice 
probably we're gonna go next year. I liked it. Yeah, I enjoyed it as well. Yeah, or well, maybe three. Well, we'll see. Yeah, but it's nice. Like definitely, if you are on a, looking at few cars and you want to compare them, then you have them there, right there, and like. Like we we jump to one car to another and you right away notice notice the differences. Yeah, the pros and cons. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I'm really happy about the the bikes we've seen, and um yeah. Now we just need to make a few decisions and like figure out if because yeah, the 650 obviously it's more powerful, but maybe in the long run, it's. It's not. It pays off yeah, more than. It's not that powerful. I mean, it's not like mind bogglingly no, fast. No, okay, but it's a bit more powerful and it's also a bit um, heavier. But yeah. But the, the, no, not really because the 500 was pretty much the same weight. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. See, like, Just the, 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 we will literally yeah. probably need to write out things and then as I, I after I get my license, go on test drive. Yeah, test drive. You're gonna uh, like feel. The best. Yeah. Okay, we're talking for f six minutes. Okay, that that's way that's too a, much. that's the longest ending we've ever recorded. I think. <laughs> yeah, because like while you're there, you can't really talk. There's so many people. Yeah, like I hope so you can actually. Noise. I hope you can actually hear things. Uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to. Uh, you, that you you can. might need to put music over some parts because there might be songs in the background. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's something you're just gonna have. Well, you had. Um, just to you, you were able to enjoy the picture basically, and uh, the cars. Yeah. Anyway, Very good we, cutie pie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm so tired that it's unbelievable. Anyway, uh, we'll wrap it up. It's yours. So. Well, I I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Um, Mainly guys, I think, is we're yeah. gonna enjoy this one. <laughs> Please subscribe, and um, who knows, next year we're with a whole gang or something. Uh, you guys wanna join in? <laughs> <laughs> it's in January. Always in January. Yes. So yeah. Okay. Oh, bye. Yeah. Bye.